welcome back to the uh, Blue Healer 100 channel. I was going to go over uh, an article I, uh, was sent to me. It's called The Four M's of 2017. And the article goes on to say that uh, I'll predict that the Nazi war criminal George Soros will continue his ongoing attempts to overthrow the 2016 election results. I'll predict until he is declared an enemy combatant, deported to Russia, the tidal wave of planned chaos will continue. Further, they are quite willing to collapse the system in order to prevent Trump from being sworn in, or at least to hamstring any possible action he could take to reverse Obama's eight-year Marxist reign of terror. In order to do this, Trump will need to deal with what I have labeled the four M's. <clears throat> the first M is money. George Soros is funded, uh, funding the groups now subverting the USA. Among them are MoveOn.org and Black Lives Matter. That's George Soros is behind that. He ain't got nothing for Black Lives Matter. He's just funneling his money in there for political and monetary gain, as well as a whole bunch of innocent-sounding name groups. Soros has only one goal in this. He is trying to repeat what he did in Ukraine in his so-called Purple Revolution. The fact Soros unleashed ethical rage that resulted in tens of thousands being murdered and raped didn't bother a Nazi war criminal like Soros. The funding available for the planned social anarchy against Trump for the next four years will be a tidal wave. The second M is malice. Perhaps because I live in Portland, Oregon, is what the writer says, I have personally seen the rioting snowflakes. I understand the venom directed at Trump and his deplorables. They really do despise us, hate our central values, and think Trump is Hitler. And we are all members of the Waffen-SS. The third M in Soros is mob. Obviously, my basic point is we are now dealing with well-funded Marxist terrorist attempt composed of violent, hate-filled, venom-soaked, <coughs> excuse me, malice-filled mobs of snowflakes, cry bullies. Yeah, got their little safety pins on. Yeah, little diaper pins. And assorted left-wing types. I also was trained for right duty back when I was in the U.S. Army. I also have, during my life up here, seen multiple riots going back as well 25 years. Let me assure you, whatever contempt you have for the snowflakes as individuals, they are not to be taken lightly as a mob. It is well known psychological effect that something happens to personal ethics when you deal with a group of people versus individuals. The snowflakes are capable of st uh, staggering levels of violence when they go into full malicious mob combat mode. Portland has several million dollars of property damage to verify that point, even if the snowflakes were just warming up. Uh, and the uh, commenter here goes on to say, I am saying that we now face a well-funded, well-organized group of Marxist terrorists with the only goal of either preventing Trump from being sworn in or unleashing a constant wave of civil disobedience, <clears throat> rioting and chaos for the next four years. They will have nearly unlimited funding until George Soros is declared an enemy of the American people, deporting and executing him for treason. The snowflakes will riot as much as we let them. The snowflakes will cause as much chaos as we let them. Until we smack them down and throw Soros in jail, we can expect constant chaos for the next four years. The final M is media. After WikiLeaks and Project Virtus, among others, you now understand why I have called the mainstream media the whore press for the long time now. I know what they are. They are liars, frauds, and purveyors of fake news in support of the globalist thugs running things. We can expect unlimited financial support from the snowflakes. We can expect unlimited media support for the snowflakes. Again, unless Trump has the balls to go after Soros and also to break up the media cartels, it's going to be a long four years. Clinton, along with his biased partisan rhino turds, passed the Telecommunications Act that allowed seven corporations to own 90% of all American media. Unless Trump takes a chainsaw to the global media, uh, blobs known as CNN, NBC, Fox, 
and MSNBC, he will fail dismally in actually getting anything done. At any rate, we are in for a wild ride. If any of my blog readers had any illusions, all of the 2016 election chaos, the recount, the electoral college votes farce, was going to stop after January 20th, I'm here to dispute you of any such illusion that you may have held. The forums will keep things hopping, at least until Trump drives a stake in Soros, Snowflakes, and the media cartel group. We really are dealing with Snowflakes <clears throat> who think Trump is Hitler. All of this supporters um, are Nazi Waffen SS fanatics. That's what they think Trump supporters are. Since they believe this, they have no moral limits as to what level of violence they are now preparing to use against us. Whether we can avoid an actual civil war, it is clear to me that cultural civil war has moved into the final phase. Lock and load, January 6th will be interesting. January 20th will be even more interesting. The summer of 2017 will be when Black Lives Matter will make its move to unleash violence. Trump is Hitler. We are Nazis. The snowflakes are primed, thundered, and eager to kill us. And until someone drives a stake in George Soros' heart and drives him out of this country, and if nothing else, hopefully the federal government will launch lawsuits against him, against him to keep him tied up in court and take away his money and his funding. Something has to be done. These snowflakes, these cry bullies, you know, the, the, that's what's taking over our country. That's what our future is going to be like. Everybody's going to be wearing little uh, diaper pins with their coloring books and their crayons hiding in their safe space because you can't hurt their feelings. Well, until they wake up and realize they're in the real world, things are going to get a lot worse. 2017 is going to be a rough, rough ride. Get ready for it. Hopefully you've uh, prepped food storage, water storage, medications that you take if you have any, stockpile. <clears throat> it's going to be a rough ride. And let's hope it at least waits to warm weather. That way, um, you know, uh, the winter time is a bad time for things to kick off. People have no uh, backup in their heating and, and keeping warm for the winter. And hopefully everything will hold off till at least spring. That way, at least it's survivable. Uh, I'll post another video later on. Subscribe and like and uh, share these videos. Thank you.